can see we have 56% in each battery, the front and rear, and uh, that will give us uh, 27 minutes of flight time. We are using uh, batteries instead of uh, fuel. It's a greener way of flying. Yeah, so this is uh, where we're charging the aircraft, inside the nose here. And uh, yeah, it's just like a car. It takes approximately uh, one hour to charge the aircraft, and then we can fly for approximately 45 to 50 minutes. It's a silent aircraft. If you're looking from outside, it's really hard to even hear that it's an aircraft flying there. Did you know that Swedish inventors were trying to find a way to fly already in the 17th century? But it wasn't until 1910 that the first Swedish pilot, Carl Sederström, took to the skies after being trained in France. Wind to seven, zero degrees, one, zero knots. Now, more than a century later, the world of aviation turns to Skellefteå in northern Sweden to learn more about electric flights. I'm Shabrish, I'm a student at the Green Flight Academy. Why did I choose electric? Because that's the future of aviation. Yeah, we are the first flight school in the world that has this type of uh, education. It's fabulous. We're flying with the white aircraft. So why northern Sweden? We have uh, in the winter really cold weather and in the summer it uh, can be really hot. So we can try then this aircraft in a lot of different uh, climates. This is a new step in aviation and we need to, uh, to find out how uh, batteries and uh, electric aircraft will behave and see the possibility for a future in commercial aviation. I hope anyone could uh, buy a ticket in uh, hopefully five years. It's my childhood dream, so hereafter uh, probably uh, I'll be fly up in the sky and shine like a star.